hi guys welcome to my channel so today i will do this portrait look at the portrait it is very cute and sweet very fair lips is very too much red look at the eyes it's very prominent bluish so i'll do it with colors pastel colors these are my colors first this is ohenur toyson door short pastels these are skin tones okay then i have the ponte paris short pastels these are also skin tones okay and next is darwin pastel skin tones these are pencils and i'll use this for detailing okay I, I have chosen a white paper generally i do pastels in uh, gray gray tone paper but today i will work it in white paper because the portrait the face is too much white okay so in gray tone paper i avoid this time because the face is too much bright so i'll work it on white paper white sketch paper okay so let's start was till the end so first i'm giving a base layer of this skin tone pastels this is like a chalk so you can always blend it with your hands like this this is a base layer of the face and on this layer i'll draw okay so first give a layer now with a brown pastel pencil i am drawing the face first i am drawing the eyebrow look at the shape of the eyebrows i'll do this in free hand let's see how much i can match to the reference i'll do it very slowly so that <coughs> anyone can understand these are my eyebrows i'm just watching the reference and doing what i am seeing this part is slightly thin and this is <coughs> slightly thick so now draw the eye look at the shape of the eye eye is quite open look at the eyeball colors eyeball colors is also very attractive this is the shape of the eye and draw the eyeball is quite open now the other eye is also quite open that the shape so these are my eyes and shed to some portions this is a brown pastel pencil from peta color brand is a soft pastel so always blendable with hands now it's a charcoal pencil black to give the dark part of the eyes
I'll walk very slowly so that you can follow me, follow my steps. Look at the black spot on the eye, which is at the middle of the other eye. This is a charcoal pencil, Camlin brand, and uh, the little spot here also the <coughs> black spot is nearly at middle. I'll do the eye with blue pastel pencil now this is a blue pastel pencil this is from darwin brand it's too dark so i have to add some white so it is a white white pastel pencil from darwin brand now it's looking okay Okay. I give some retouch to the eyes then the lower portion there is some dark part eyelashes there is also the eyelashes This portion is like this. Like this. As the portrait, the face is <coughs> quite bright. So I use white paper for this portrait, otherwise I use not normally a grey tone paper for soft pastel drawing, but this time I am using a white sketch paper as the face is too much bright. Now white short pastel from Torsendor Kohinoor brand this is like chalk I'll give the highlight of this pastel so let's draw the nose at first give a shade the points there is some shadow some shadow on the this point from build that with brown pencil there is, a, there is highlight so I am giving the highlight 
with the white chart white pastel it's easy to blend so you don't have to worry too much about the blending process the face is too much bright so I have to put too much white pastel and look at that shape of the nose okay nose is like this some portions with brown pastel pencil brown pastel pencil from Darwent brand <coughs> just setting out some portions some shadows My nose is let's give some pinkish tone because I am seeing some pinkish tone at various places, so I am giving the pink tone and on the in this part of the face, there is some pink tone. I easily blend it, so don't worry. <coughs> this will blend easily now give some highlight look at the reference there is too much highlight this lady is very fair so I have to give more white to her face because the space is already too much white and let's draw the lip look at the lips it's totally red she uses too much lipstick isn't it it's totally red so I'm using a red pastel pencil from Darwin color my red color is not exactly the same color as in the lips <coughs> the red lipstick is too much bright whereas my red color pencil is little bit orangey little bit orange side and the reference lips is little bit so give some dark shunts dark lines the cap of the lips
This is crimson. I'm giving some highlight to the lower lip. The highlight there is some highlight and in that part also. The upper lips also had some highlight. This is too much bright. So now let's draw the outline of the face. Start from this point. Look at the shape. to the now to the point this face is like this in it may not be hundred percent correct but I am trying with free hands so the shape of the face may not be hundred percent correct with the eye lines and some hair the hair the hair goes from there <coughs> and from this point and from this point the face is like this and now I'll draw the little bit correction on the lips and draw the hairs with the hair line part of one hair look at the reference you can understand on this point this Dress on the point is it okay? This comment is it okay or not? Now I'll give some um, highlight. <coughs> Too much fair so I have to give more highlights like this right pastel it's always been the good so no pressure at all I always blend it give something tone to this point also once again I usually blend it I'm 
um, some part of the eyes have to be more accurate so I am giving some finishing touch to the eyes because if I started to draw the hairs I could not do the eyes or face more so if I had to correct some portions I have to do this now now I'll draw the corrections I am giving full drawing video now because many of you ask that if I have any online class or not but uh, I am still learning so I do not take class when I get that confident that I learned a lot then I'll take class. Now I don't think I have learned many things. I have to practice and learn many things to become a good artist. So first I became an artist, then I'll teach you. Till then watch my videos because from my videos you can learn many things and now I am giving full length videos so that everyone can understand and everyone can do with me so the eyes are okay now I'll draw the Yes. Giving some black color will increase the contrast of the image. So I am giving some dark colors. Now take deep brown and drawing the hair. Slowly, slowly, I will do the hair. Get the shapes of the hair. I'll blend it with my hands, letters, because these are chalk pastels, so I always can blend it with my fingers. Okay, and that person also. Now blend, blend it with my finger, and easily blend it. <coughs> like this.
and to this other side also and very carefully because space is there so I have to draw very carefully that no pastel is going inside the face also blend it very carefully so these are the shapes of the hair And it with my fingers. I'll make correction letters in the highlights, right? Slowly, 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 slowly. Yeah. If the shape of the face is not changed too much. I give the dark dark portions with black so let's take the black and give some dark shades this portion the black It's also dark. This person is very much dark. And I have to give the dark part on this side. Okay. Well, with the highlight letters I get some shades of this color some color portion such like this color not exactly this color but nearly the same so I am doing this color this is burgundy color some portions of the hair is this reddish type so and this portion also highlight is there Pencils. 
so now I draw the neck with brown pastel this is a brown pastel from Conte Paris small sticks all the materials you can find in my material video so watch the material video first there you can find all the drawing materials uh, I use it's too much brown I'll blend it with white letter There is some dark tones on neck. Now to the white part because the tone is not right. white so I'm um, blending with white chalk white pastel there is some shades on the leaves like this and this point so this point the lip now the pink I use the pink again because the pink is more prominent looks to me so I'll give some pink tone there So this point there is the hairline. <coughs> there is some highlight. Mm, some highlight here. some highlight with white and this portion also highlight some part
on to the dress the dress is dark it will is a blue color this is violet probably to do the dress this part of the dress okay i will leave that blend it to some extent and leave it here so my portrait is nearly complete and i am signing here this n k h a my name shankar so thank you good night everybody